Yes, I have tricks in my pocket, I have things on my sleeve, but I am the opposite of a stage magician. He gives you illusion that has the appearance of truth, and I give you truth in the pleasant disguise of illusion. To begin with, I turn back time. I reversed it to that quaint period, the 30s, when the huge middle class of America was matriculating in a school for the blind. Their eyes had failed them, or they had failed their eyes. And so they were having their fingers pressed forcibly down on a fiery braille alphabet of a dissolving economy. In Spain there was a revolution, here there was only shouting and confusion. In Spain there was Guernica, here there were disturbances of labor, sometimes pretty violent, in otherwise peaceful cities such as Chicago, Cleveland, St. Louis. This is the social background of the play. The play is a memory. Being a, a memory play, it is dimly lighted, it is sentimental, it is not realistic. In memory, everything seems to happen to music. That explains the fiddle in the wings. I am the narrator of the play and also a character in it. The other characters are my mother Amanda, my sister Laura, and uh, a gentleman caller who appears in the final scenes. He is the most realistic character in the play, being an emissary from a world of reality that uh, we were somehow set apart from. But uh, since I have a poet's weakness for symbols. I am also using this character as a symbol. He is the long, uh, delayed, but always expected something that we live for. There's a fifth character in the play who doesn't appear, except in this larger than life size photograph over the mantle. This is our father who left us a long time ago. He was a telephone man who fell in love with long distances. He gave up his um, job with the telephone company and skipped <laughs> and skipped the light fantastic out of town. Um, the last time we heard of him was a picture postcard for um, Mazatlan on the Pacific coast of Mexico containing a message with two words hello, goodbye and no address I think the rest of the play will explain itself